Hello, hi good people, good evening. Well, mahali niko ni evening, but I bet you might watch it in the morning, afternoon, evening, that, that, that. Wanja here yet again. I'm happy that I'm trying to be consistent. Nimejaribu kwa this consistent thing. I'm trying to get the hang of it. Thank you so much for the subscribers. Thank you for the people who continue watching. Today we are going political. Najua they say, wazungu, anasemanga, personal is political. So basically what they try to say is that what is happening in our personal life is somehow affected by the social political issues that are happening in the country. For example, the amount of ugali you're gonna eat today is determined by the high taxes of yeah, and that has led to the increase in the high cost of living. So what are we saying? That here we shall be personal to talk more about me for people to know more about me. Lakini from time to time we shall be going political and all of them are important issues. Leo I'm going to talk about bipartisan talks. Bipartisan talks. I think here talk here bipartisan is the thing that it is so popular for the last like two, three weeks. It a very recurring political debate. It may happen in the country. Uh, it all started when, you know, opposition, walifanya maandamano, waka push, waka fanya a lot of public barazas. We are not happy with the way the, uh, the, the country is being run. Kenya sio, sio, su, Kenya sio kiosk. We want to push. We want them to change how they are taxing us we want the the cost of living to go down uh pesa ya stima bei ya stima end down watu waishimiane fungua server what have you so after hiyo maandamano na after hizo public barazas na hiyo pressure yote that's how now we arrived at uh, the uh, dr ruto the current president akasema okay nimewasikia tutafanya bipartisan talks and then, basically by partisan, from the word by ni, patimbili mtafte watu wenu wenye mna trust kuleta interest zenu kwa tebo sabu watu wezi kaungia na nini watu wote. Opposition ni kasema sawa, wacha tuone. Lakini what happened is that ata wakitanga yu by partisan talk, it seems like kuna watu wanafichia na white. Unajua huku kwa mtaani tunasemanga unanifichia white. Kufichia mtu white ni unakuja aje, unakuja aje, unakuja aje. So, in the bipartisan sun talks, kila mtu wakambua wewe, tafta watu wa timi yako, na u tafta watu wa timi yako, alafu tupangane kazi. Sawa, sawa. Uh, before we know it, opposition sasa imesema, na mna kuja kujaje, mna kuja kujaje. So, even as watu wamesema tafta neni, timienu, timienu, alafu tuonge, kuna shida mahali. And that's where I'm gonna start this talk. In my view, based on the watching the current political environment in the country in kenya i want to say categorically categorically that as things are all factors had equal as things are today his or bipartisan talks they are dead on arrival why one unajua tunambiangwa i think it's in law sijasoma law sana but nasikianga ukikuja kwa tebo kuja na mikono safi as in Tukua tumebishana alafu tuambiane, tebu tuonge, tusameheane. Usikuje na finyo wama umenifichia white. Usikuje na tumambo kwa chini ya tebu. Come with clean hands, roho safi. Usikuje kwa umekunja ngumi ni kwa unajificha. Come with clean hands. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, the current side ya Kenya kwanza vile imekuja. Hata before tuonge, hata before tuketi chini. They have come with dirty hands quote and quote dirty hands and that's where i'm starting one imagine watu wa kenya kwanza wakachaguana team watu wa saba wa hiyo bipartisan team yao sasa kwa mmoja mwenye wamechagua kwa hiyo team ni member wa azimio i know it doesn't make sense to anybody yani and i had um one of the politicians akiuliza vizuri haya tuko na wewe hapa ehe Ebu, take it this way. Sasa niyo mimi wanja. Silio he. Mimi na date na, na date na masharia. Mimi na masharia tuna date tuna wana. Alafu njoroge ya bibi. Alafu zikuwa kukuja kesi, 
Njoroge anakuja na huyo bibi saa tuongele mambo ya mabibi. Azim, Kenya kwanza, na ndio maana watu wanasema hawajakuja na mkono safi, immediately waliingia bunge, walianza kukompromise wa bunge wa azimio. Kuwaiba, kuwadanganya lilia, kuwa compromise. So unapata some members of azimio who are in parliament kata si of azimio, wakiwa ndani ya azimio, inside of azimio na wakiwa ndani ya parliament, they are paying allegiance to Kenya kwanza. How? Yaani hiyo ndio inaitwa political political uchokora whereby unasponsoriwa na party A lakini ukifika bunge unaenda ku advance interest ya hiyo party nyingine. One would ask, "Hi, what kind of thinking is that?" So sasa in one of the bipartisan members wa Kenya kwanza, member wa wenyewe wamechagua ni member wa Azimio anaitwa Aidan Kenan. So mtu anauliza, "Na vile Kenya kwanza wanajisifu vile wako na wabunge wengi ndani ya parliament?" walitafuta wakaona ule watachukua ni member wa Kenya kwanza wa, wa azimio. So yani tunakuja kwa tebo lakini bado mmetukujia na ma, madharao. How do we expect us to work together kama hiyo ndio start hiyo ndio start ya kama hiyo ndio start ya mazungumzo. Lazima ukam na ukam vizuri usikuje nikao unanichokoza. So watu wa azimio wanajiuliza, you people are you serious? Are you serious really? The other thing yenye imekasirisha azimio na ile yenye imetuma tuone hao watu hawana roho safi uh, na vile wamekuja kwa tebo it has to be vile wanaongea ongea tu hardliner position ati mkuje kwa meza tuongee ama mrudi maandamano mkuje sijui mfanye nini ama mrudi maandamano you know by the time tume remember watu wa azimio they have wameanza sufuria movement kuteta ku get a lot of public support so it, it is Kenya kwanza yenye waliambia watu wazimio waache kuandamana remember hata waliwachokora sana wakiandamana lakini ukikuja kwa tebo hata before muongee watu wanaanza kukuita muoga kukuambia na hata ungerudi maandamano kama ungetaka yani ni kama umekuja hata ukijihambo ukuje kwa tebo wana wana kuchongoa ni kama umeogopa you are a coward no we can't work like that by the time tumekuja kwa tebo is because some people in the side yenye wamefinyilwa which is Kenya kwanza ah uh, which is azimio sorry wameona let's advance and take issues of the country before our personal interest so kusikwe na mtu anachongoana and that's why i'm saying with this attitude vile inaendelea dead on arrival three storia electro, electro injustice stroke justice depending on how you want to use it hiyo storia kufungua server in short azimio side wana believe walishinda election 2022 victory yao ikaibiwa tulishinda mkatuibia victory tulishinda mkatuibia victory so hata ukiona tukichongolewa wa Kenya azimio wanatemekiwa fan kuna ile kitu kwa roho inakwambia by the way mtu alinibia na alinibia na ananichongoa surely how so uh, there is a person who gave analogy akasema tuseme saa hizi nimekaa hapa kwangu right now i'm seated in my house here nikikunywa black tea then my neighbor aseme my cat is lost by the way niko na there is a cat ya neighbor sijui vile inaweza move muone actually it's real i can see a cat over there sasa ni yangu waseme ati kati yangu imepotea na hiyo kati iko kwa wanja. Huchwa ni zizia kumwambia wewe unadhani mimi naweza iba mapaka wewe wo 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 wo. Ama nitamwambia itsuki okay, wewe tu ingia pahali uangalie. So my neighbor atakuja aingie kwa nyumba akose paka aseme I'm sorry I misjudged you I'm sorry let's forgive each other. He server if indeed kuna Victoria mtu imefichwa ndani ya server na when you want, there has been a lot of indications that there was electoral malpractice which one is easier kusema utafungua server ama utafungua maybe maybe hata ikifunguliwa itaonesha ni wewe ulishinda but mbona unakataa kufungua server that is the question so kama hizo ndio issues zenye watu wenye wamekuja ku debate na wewe wameweka kwa tibu mbona unawachongoa mbona unakataa na mbona utaki kufanya vile wanakuambia wanakuambia and that's why i'm saying With this kind of attitude without goodwill by partisan talks are dead on arrival dead on arrival The most contentious issue of them all cost of living yani cost of living is real 
today 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 nimeona Kemsolt hii kampuni ya chumvi wametoa presa wakasema bei ya chumvi imeongezeka guys as in of all the things yenye ushai think in your head in terms of kununua i don't think kuna anybody ashawai think ati ata worry about bei ya chumvi as in of all the things chumvi na kuanga how much you 10 bob 8 bob 12 bob what have you so bei ya chumvi imeongezeka so bei ya ugali imeongezeka and in your average kenyan homes ugali is like a real staple in fact watu wanachongoanga watu wanachongoanga waluya uh, and a lot of love and respect for luyas by the way ni vile tu watu wanachongoanga waluya nasema ati mluya kikuvizi tumuliza eh hey, utakula mchele na stew anasema eh nitakula mchele na stew nikigoje ugali honestly ugali is a serious meal i think okay me as for me as wanza si ati napenda ugali sana but i also know that niko na mtu anani visit nini nini unaona anga akipika ugali nini 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 so ugali is real ukita kujua mkenya amefinyeliwa ni mali ugali anashindwa ana kubai remember ah uh, he he the current kenya kwanza wa kikampaign wali promise watu heaven tutaweka your life to be easy bei ya ugali itaenda chini bei ya cost of living itaenda chini so hata kenyans walikuwa na a lot of hope at cost of living itaenda chini and then waweze afford ugali now uh, as in side one of the things wamekuwa kipush sana ni kubeba sufuria and you know people are making fun of sufuria taking the sufuria issues literally but i can tell you those issues are not to be taken literally by the time mtu amevaa sufuria kwa kichwa anasema by the time kioni amevaa sufuria kwa kichwa basically anasema guys mimi sina kitu ya kuweka ndani ya sufuria ndio maana nimevaa kwa kichwa you know it's a very serious issue ukiangalia in that way that cost of living we are hungry unajua mtu akona njaa hawezi kumwambia story mob basics first unga ugali sitima basics first Uga, ipo, chai you know like tuongee kuhusu basics first alafu tuongee vitu za juu so azimio walisema sisi tukikaa kwa tebo tuanzie na bei ya ugali first and then tuongelele hizo vitu zingine za juu Kenya kwanza on the other hand wanasema hapana sisi tutaongelea tu vitu za ibc why do you want to talk about vitu za ze oh, oh, nikikuita kwa tebo ni kuambia zile vitu zimenikasirisha kwa nini we una decide zile vitu utaongelea na zenye hautaongelea i mean if it's a conflict a marital con- conflict mimi and you refer to the other example ya njoro na masharia mimi and masharia we are conflicting and then tuite wazazi kuko na kesi it is not up to masharia to say hey wanza nitaongelea tu kuhusu infidelity what if what if unipe yangu pesa what if nataka pia tuongele kuhusu money in the family what if what if so awa Kenya kwanza friends ni kama wamekaa hivi waka decide sisi tutaongelea tu kuhusu IBC na tutaongelea kuhusu cost of living nao azimio wanasema Kenyans unajua opposition ndio iko na wananchi for now you can tell vile watu wanatokea kwa maandamano na hizo meetings so watu wamekuambia sisi tunataka uongelee because opposition ni voice of the people wananchi wametuambia tuongelee kuhusu bei ya ugali. Na wewe unasema hapana, sitaongelea hiyo. Wananchi wamesema uweke subsidies kwa ugali wakuwa na afford unga ya 100 shillings au 90. Aa, mimi staki subsidies, mimi nimesema nataka watu wapande mahindi wavune. You see, mambo ya kupanda na kuvuna ni na huko ma 5 months na ma 6 months. So are you saying watu watakaa nja hadi na huko ma 6 months na ma 7 months? Remember, hata Kenya kwanza wamekaa kwa power for 7 months na hizo vitu hazija change sana anyway so that's why i'm saying these talks are bound to fail kama hiyo hardliner position na hiyo position ya kujipiga kifua ati hapana sisi hatuta discuss hizo vitu za za cost of living why are you deciding hauta discuss hizo vitu za cost of living and yet wananchi wanataka hizo vitu zikuwe kwa table how you know something else azimio wamesema and that's why i'm saying Usipoeka vitu za basics kwa tebo dead on arrival. Aya, let's go to the other issue yenye itatuma hizi mambo zikuwe dead on arrival. The issue of what? The issue of uh, all inclusive. All inclusive discussion, all inclusive approach. Yaani azimio anasema hivi. Kenya iko na mashida ka 
kuna vitu zingine unajua Kenya wana behave like most african families kuna tu vitu tunaikangwa chini ya mat chini ya tebo chini ya kuficha fichwa and all that so Kenyans wamekuambia oh, azimio wamesema sisi kama opposition tumeambwa na wananchi hivi tumeambwa na wananchi please ongelelea um, uh, weka a lot of stakeholders wachange mjadala because even in the laws of Kenya public participation is important it is actually in the constitution it's not only important it is a law it's a supreme law sasa opposition wanasema all inclusive discussion all inclusive inamaanisha nini umesema tufanye bipartisan so wabunge waongee na wabunge remember wabunge kuna wengine hata wako kwa parliament washanunuliwa kuna wengine wako kwa parliament washa compromisewa waka move sides so sisi tumekuambia uh, uh, tunataka all inclusive all inclusive inamaanisha nini hata hao washimua wakiongea huko vitu za juu the very fact that executive that is the government wameonesha wana compromise wa bunge wacha pia kukuwa na discussions za huko chini by chini i mean wa mama wa, waitwe kwa tebo waonge vitu waseme nini na kwa affect kama mama wa disabled people laitwe kwa tebo waseme what is affecting you as a disabled people wa religious leaders i don't know representative of farmers all inclusive inamaanisha tusikie a lot of voices so which in a sound like the most practical thing to say in a sound kama common sense all inclusive wait until unapata one of the team kwa tebo kenya kwanza hapana sisi hatutaki all inclusive tunataka waheshimiwa peke yake fine mnataka waheshimiwa peke yake na mmewa compromise na mkawa some of them that is mmewa compromise na mkawa nunua so how will we be sure that hizo talks kwa tebo zitakuwa exhaustive remember washachukua mpaka mtu wa azimio anatetea saidi ya Kenya kwanza hiyo inakaa kama jokes it's a joke actually it is a joke so that is one of the reasons why hizo talks ziko bound to fail wakiendelea hivyo na ku, kukosa kusikiza opinion ya watu and especially Kenyans who are affected by this politics Something else that in affect easy talks is a bipartisan talks ni perception that hakuna goodwill. Goodwill what is goodwill? Goodwill ni ka ki perception ili hivi. Kuna mtu anaweza kuambia oh you have my blessings you have my goodwill lakini vile unaongea that is not a goodwill na you don't have my blessings. Take a look for example. Ya yeah, rigiji vile anaongea hizi vitu za Kenya. Rigidia kisha mka amuite ule mzee wa kitenda wili hawa watu wa kuzimia wo 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 by the time a top senior person like Rigidia ameamka akaamua kuchongoa baba hajui ati after kuchongoa baba ame affect watu wake kama wale ma millions of people wanafuatanga baba hajui yo remember this country Sorry guys na jukuna kienyeji this country imegawanika na politically almost right at the middle aya election ilipita karibu almost half walivotia baba according to the figures before we dispute them actually they are to be disputed anyway lakini remember even kuna 7 million wenye waku vote what are we saying what we are saying is that kuna wengi walivotia uh, opposition wengi hawaku vote So how when you are voting this current uh, regime si ati ndio wengi sana but even what is the point the point is uto to talk tunakaa funny kuchongoana kuambia kuita baba mtu wa kuzimia ku, kusema tuta deal na watu mm, people like um akina kioni unasikia wakisema na mwambie watu wacho kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa na sasa hizo wale watu wana identify nao ni wananchi wa kawaida wanasema tunafurahia tukiona mzee na kisufuria then ukipata hakuna goodwill side ya government especially because wanasema we are the legitimate government in affect not only uh, azimio as a coalition but also feelings za watu wenye wana support opposition and that's why ukiona kukiendelea na hizo kuchongoana kutusiana ku, ku make fun of the opposition remember you're making fun of people wenye wana feel umewaibia their leadership honestly These talks are bound to be to be uh, these talks are bound to be dead on dead on arrival
but most importantly and this one is a personal issue that is very personal to me hakuna vile talk zinaweza kuwa zinapanga huko juu there is no inclusion of youth young people size of young people in this country wako na huko ma, ma 70% 65% hakuna in these talks in this uh, guys unaona ni upgrade mambo yangu ya kufanya tu video mpaka niko na microphone and i hope kana work anyway this is my first time to use it hakuna youth hakuna watu disabled hakuna representative wa mama wa huku wa mama wa mama hivi size of youth wako na huko 70% na huko karibu 100% why are you missing and are you failing to capture the voices of the majority na ni notice there is a guy called Anthony Manyara he is an atitanga ma students i yesterday i had him akitetea students na young people wa kwa hizo voices zao zikuwe captured ah uh, babu we know who is a youthful mp alitetanga na akasema anataka kukuwa kwa hizo bipartisan talk but overall in the whole talks hata kama sio hizi za MP hizi wa saba wa saba bipartisan in the all inclusive because sisi ma youth wa, 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 wa mama wa to disabled wanasema we want all inclusive if we miss the point ya ku include special interest groups they don't arrive why unateteaje vitu za electoral injustice kwa mfano where by young people hata waku vote walikuwa na vote hapa hivi kwa nini utakuwasikiza usikie ni kwa nini walikataa ku vote you can't decide for them you have to have them at the table all inclusive means listening to many voices especially voices that are left behind wa mother wa youth wa disabled people wa our villages real talk real talk real talk last but not least it is so unfortunate and that's why hizo reasons zote nimepeana and i hope mmefuata hiyo flow of thought i'm just talking about why these talks zinaweza kuwa dead on arrival last but not least political grandstanding political grandstanding kila mtu anajipiga kifua nipige ndakupiga wewe utanifanya wewe wo. political grandstanding haitatusaidia mahali and especially ukipata ni wewe uliitana truce ulipata ni wewe ulituita kwa tebo but uko na grandstanding no way no no it's unfortunate at the end of the day when all is said and done at the end of the day when all is said and done it is all about mwananchi first it is all about zile vitu zimekuwa table ya kwanza ya juu kabisa ikikuwa cost of living cost of electricity cost of school fees mpaka siku hizi wale watu orphans watu disabled lao venye wanapangwa money for social protection hakuna it's mwananchi first mwananchi first hapo ndo tunaanza alafu tunaongea hizo vitu zingine kama electoral justice and for some of us who love our country some of us are youthful tunapenda our country we want these issues resolved once and for all one for once it is for once and for all we are tired hiyo issue ya idc for example it's such a serious national issue same same idc kitambo sijui kuna inaitwa ck ama ndo ick they are the reasons why tulipigana 2007 2008 why because they are to behave the funny so the issue of IBC, the issue of recruitment the issue of the moral integrity of our commissioners is an issue that should be discussed in an all inclusive way ndio kusiwahi kuwa na any commissioner any person mwenye ataingia kupanga elections lakini ana take political sides sijui watasoa wako wa face mount kenya ama watakuwa wa face wapi but that's a big big issue that is an issue that affects mwananchi because we are taking away voice ya mwananchi na sababu ni kura za mwananchi huwa zinaibiwa it's important to have their voices in the all inclusive dialogue last but not least last kabisa before i go and continue with my things there was a french i'll call french what french queen she was a famous woman in the leadership in france now that our woman aliambiangwa queen dear queen dear mama queen dear queen queen mother people are hungry i want food they have nothing guess what hizo times in france watu walikuwa nakula bread i think in france maybe bread is so popular 
Queen alisema kama wameshindwa kwa afford bread. Si wa afford queen cake. I think walikuwa wanabanisha bread black forest. Yaani watu wameshindwa kwa afford mkate, sasa unaambiwa kule queen cake and baked goods. Sasa ilimaanisha queen hata ailewi the challenges facing a people. Ako so out of touch with them, ajui mkate ni chipa kuliko queen cake na black forest cake. So ukisikia wananchi wanalia. By the way, yesterday I had an incident. It was really sad aki. So there is this lady I met, she was telling me oh, then she called me oh, you ni rushie me I buy watoto vegetables story kayo. Like ukisikia watu wamesema we can't afford food. Awezi kasema nyie endeleni kununua 300 hadi sijui tupande tuvune mahindi wo 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 vitu kai so. Unajua nja hizi ngoja. The hunger cannot wait. So you are, so we have a system that is really out of touch with the people. Out of touch with the basic challenges of the people. Hadi wakisema wako na njaa unasema wakule mkate au wakule cakes. Those are the real issues school fees, stima, maji, wo 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 vitu kai so. And that's why we are saying, um, um, all those things I've said is that if there is no reason at the table, if there is no lower, lowering cost of living, if there is no all inclusive, if there is no everybody aka ego chini wache political grandstanding, if there is no watu wamekuja kawa na mikono chafu figuratively with their fist head, wame fist hivi mikono, wame kunja hivi ngumi. All those things zikikuwa kwa tebo, Bipartisan talks are dead on arrival. Repeat after me. Bipartisan talks are dead on arrival. Unless all those things I've highlighted have been put into consideration. That is all I had today. That is my installment of uh, today. I'm sure as we go on, I'm sure as we carry on, we shall discuss more topical issues. So leave your reflections, your comments, your feelings. Your point of view in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to sort of hire, pick it up. I'll be more than enough to further the conversation. I'll be more than happy to further the conversation. Keep engaging with me. Even you can share a topic you want me to, to also delve into. And then we shall go on together and we shall continue having topical issues. Thank you guys. I love you so much. I'm happy that the subscribers are growing keep interacting with my content keep sharing the link with your friends so that we can grow our community where we shall have candid topical relevant topics to further this country forward bye bye enjoy your evening keep warm keep warm keep warm i saw oh yeah before i go i saw a joke on online walisemati he baridi he whether ni watu wawili Uh, someone said, ah, watu wili wakufanya nini? So the lady said, mmoja wakupika chai mwingine wakuendea mkate. So, I hope you get the joke. So keep warm. Hii weather ni ya watu wawili. Mmoja wakupika chai na mwingine wakuendea mkate. Keep warm, keep safe. Keep, keep happy. God loves you. And God bless you. So, cheers and bye.